so excited for you. We are downtown Vancouver right now and it literally took us now Holy fuck all these people sorry. <laughs> it's going? so stressful driving. Let me go. Down here. Oh yes, I'm stressed out. Yeah, it's very stressful driving down here, especially because there's like protests going on today and like it's making it so trafficy. We literally planned to be here um like a lot earlier and the traffic just did not allow for that so it took us forever to get here and it's just like it's just such a stressful vibe driving down here so um if you're ever planning on like moving downtown just know that like it's very busy and very trafficy. yeah live somewhere where if you downtown where you don't have to drive because take it from someone who's driving right now i just all i want to do is scream at the top of my <laughs> yeah she was literally like screaming before. and i don't blame her because like i understand like no, my skin was crawling yeah like, just like sitting in yeah traffic. it's so busy so just like yeah if you guys are looking on moving down here i don't think it's smart to like drive what I mean? it's see so that? much it's easier just, like good thing i say i walk do my tr yeah. shoulder check and also there's like millions of pedestrians too so that and biker and bikers a biker bikers. almost fell in front of me yeah oh yeah, yeah good we, thing i didn't go yeah. past him which in my lane i could have went past mm -hmm. him but he literally like fell into the lane and if i went i would I literally would have hit yeah him. it looked like he was drunk or something but yeah you just have to be really careful driving down here and it could be really stressful but anyways we're going to see if we can catch the sunset at the beach because the sunset is the sun the, i think we will like look at the sky over there and that's where the beach is going to be it's yeah still bright we're only five minutes away from the beach and the sun the sun it's it starts to set at five um sorry 4 50 and it's 5 10 right now oh this is pretty i need to show you guys We are at Brittany's house right now, or I was gonna say Brittany's house, but it's like an apartment, but same thing. <laughs> but it's our living quarters, my living quarters. We're at Brittany's house right now. Brittany's home. <laughs> Brittany's home. Um, we were gonna go out to eat in Vancouver, but then like, it was just so busy. The streets were busy, everything was busy, the restaurants were busy. We needed to get busy. out of there. <laughs> we needed to get out of there because it was just stressing Brittany out driving, and I totally get it. It was bad. It was bad, like she was like. It was just crazy, I promise, it was bad. It was bad. So, um, yeah, we were even going to try to watch the sunset, but it was literally so busy that, like, we couldn't get a parking, and it was just, like, so stressful. The sunset was beautiful, though. Um, we did get to drive past yeah, it. Yeah, we did get to drive past it. It was so beautiful. Like, I can't even put it into words, but this year, we established that we're going to go watch more sunsets, mm -hmm. um, like, on a beach. <laughs> so... <laughs> Anyway, so we just ordered Uber Eats. We got some authentic pizza. Yeah. We are literally so hungry. Oh, oh yeah. that looks so good. I love our arugula on pizza. Yeah. I made love sure arugula. to add arugula because when I get like Italian pizza, I love arugula on it. It just makes it so good. But anyways, this is the place that we got it from. Famoso. That was, yeah. Famoso Napolitan Pizzeria. Yes, that's the name, everybody. So excited to eat. Hey guys, so I just got back from Brittany's house. It is 11.38 right now. And I literally had an LOL moment because I made my room a mess before leaving. Because I wanted to like wear something cute. Like, you know how I usually just wear literally comfy shit and like... I never really put too much effort into my outfits because like I'm just like running out of the house. I'll throw on a pair of sweatpants and jacket and or sweatsuit or whatever just make it super easy right so usually i just do that and today i was like you know what i want to like make a cute outfit so i was tearing my room apart apart because i realized i forgot how to like dress cute like i forgot how to dress nice because i just haven't gone out like you know what i mean like i've just been home 
and I literally forgot how to put like a cute different outfit together something that's not comfortable necessarily you know what I mean and I literally tore my room apart doing it like I just like ransacked my closet I went through all of that just to wear the most basic outfit I think I've ever put on in my life which is literally leggings a, bl a black leggings a black top and a scarf like this is just so funny because I made all this mess just to wear this when I could have just put this on from the beginning but anyways I feel like everybody does this tearing apart your room looking for an outfit and then like just putting on like what you put on first and like none of this was necessary so I just think that this is really funny anyways I have a soccer game tomorrow at 12 30 no sorry 12 um not 12 30 and it's pretty far away from me like I have to leave the house at like 10 o'clock I don't really want to wake up to a messy room so I think that I'm going to quickly clean everything um because I'm not down to wake up to a messy room <laughs> I'm so dumb like why like what was I thinking like I I just think like from now on I'm just never going to try to dress cute and I'm just literally going to do my everyday like like I'm just not going to try again mm -mm. <laughs> So yesterday we came downtown again um, like around like 6 p.m. after our soccer game me and Madison soccer game because we Joel is house sitting this weekend and so we just came to join him for a night because he's like watching a dog and everything so yeah so now it's the next morning and we're actually going to go out to a cute little vegan cafe that's like near the area it's like 15 minutes away so yeah that's what we're gonna do i just like kind of got ready was gonna film last night but i was so tired and i'm literally so sore because of my soccer game like i haven't played soccer in so long because like our games have just been like canceled for like three two to three months now so i'm just my body feels so freaking sore i needed a literal massage but anyway so that's the plan for today um and yeah i'm really excited to go to this little cute vegan place because it looks so good and um i love like going to cute little vegan places because i just feel like it's so like healthy and innovative you know anyways i am going to vlog today though so i will keep you guys updated it's like a mini grocery store in here and it has like all healthy stuff um, let me show you it's literally so freaking cute and i love how it's like all like vegan and healthy and yeah it's just such like a cute vibe in here <laughs> so cute okay so i am home now we are home i just haven't like unpacked my overnight bag yet it's sitting on my bed but i do gotta do some laundry so we're gonna do that right now and i tidied my room up before i left so it's not like it's tidy like i feel so good um but anyways i literally missed my bean so much for those who don't know, Hershey actually showed up at our door um, eight years ago, and she was a stray cat. She was so skinny, and she was only like six months old at the time, and ugh. so we fed her, and she kept coming back every single day to sleep on our deck, and then we decided to adopt her. Ugh. I'm literally like obsessed with her. She got like a new... She got a new Valentine's Day collar, if you guys didn't notice. Hold on. Look at how cute! It has little hearts on it. Oh my god, I'm literally in love with her. But yeah, so got a little basket, big basket, <laughs> little basket, mini basket, um, amount of laundry to do that I'm going to do right now because if I don't do it now, then I'm never going to do it. So, you know what? You know what also that I realized? It's like, when you say you want to do something, like, just do it. Like, some people say, like, some people like i say this too sometimes but like some people like talk about how they want to do something and accomplish something and like they just talk about it but it's like it's one thing to talk about something and one thing to do something um and once you do it you'll feel so much better like just just do it like stop talking about what you want to do and literally just do it um that's literally like one of the keys to the life that i have learned that didn't make sense but you know what i mean 
and it's just like if you want to do something just freaking do it stop talking about it for like years of your life and just do it end of the story so you know what i'm gonna use this in like a little context right now and i'm just gonna do my laundry i'm just gonna get it done and also like this goes for like the little tasks um just if you're procrastinating something set aside a time and just get it done because like having that in the back of your mind is way worse than doing it you know what i mean like i hate that like voice that's in your head that's like you're always thinking about that thing that you need to do and then you're like procrastinating it even more but just getting it done feels so 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 freaking good so that's your motivation to get whatever you want to do done get those tasks out of your way and just do it I just wanted to take a minute and show you how like I'm sorry but this is like the vibiest my room has ever been in my whole entire life I was just editing for a couple hours and I've not felt more at peace in my life this is literally the most calm setting ever like I, I can't even so I got my starlight projector on which I usually have on okay and then I completely forgot that I had packed away a salt, a little tiny night light rock salt lamp and um, Madison recently bought like a big rock, rock salt lamp and I'm like, oh my god, like I have a mini night uh, light version and I found it and it's literally the best thing ever. Um, here's like what it looks like up close. So as you can see, it's literally just like a little um, night light. It's supposed to be a nightlight, but it's honestly too bright for a nightlight, so it's just good to use it like right now it's perfect, but it literally makes my room so vibey. Like I'm so happy that um, I realized that I had it because I completely forgot, but I'm obsessed. So I've literally just been sitting here for a couple hours editing and I got a really cute setup going on. I got my little lap desk, um, got this for Christmas, and I've literally been using it every single day. I love it so much. Um... And yeah, I've been just sitting in my room editing because I just like, it's so calming. Like I realize like how important it is to have a space that is like calming to you. And that's like your safe space. You know what I mean? No matter what that looks like to you, like it could be different for you, but like, it's so important to have like that safe space that you go back to. Like it just makes you feel calm and relaxed, you know, it's just so important to have that and also have it in like a good state. Like if my room is messy, it just like doesn't it makes me feel like not as good um because this is like my sanctuary it's like my space you know i have been just looking on airbnb because my birthday is in march and so is madison's my younger sister and so we're planning a little birthday trip together we want to just like get a little airbnb like a little staycation moment and then have like a few friends and just like get away for the weekend so we are planning that i was like we gotta find an airbnb now before everything sells out because a lot of the times with the airbnb it's like it sells out so fast um so i'm really excited because i haven't really done anything for my birthday in like two years so so yeah i'm just gonna make a little journal entry right now before i go to bed and then hit the hay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Peace out.